In this video we shall continue reviewing joints and now we shall discuss the tricky ones. You remember that there are a lot of miscellaneous joints, but there are more. And you may wonder, why didn't we ever used this field in the whole previous video? Because we shall use it now. We have to show all possible rooms computers combinations and we have to take room space into account. And the room space is stored in this field. To solve this task we shall use cross apply operator. In this expected result it is clearly visible, for instance for this room that has only place for two computers, that there are two computers here, not three, not four, not five, but only two. And as we start reviewing the solution the first bad news is waiting for us. MySQL does not support cross apply at all. But nevertheless we may simulate cross apply in MySQL with cross join. We have to follow this sophisticated way here and this query produces the following result for each and every room. It selects all information about computers and it numbers computers sequentially. Then we only have to perform cross join and we have to take this condition into account. This position, here it is, should be less or equal to the space the room has. And that's how we achieve our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server the solution is simpler, because it supports cross-apply. So what does cross-apply do? It allows us to reference from this part of query some information from this part of query, it asks from this table. And now to take room space into account we only have to use this top syntax and we get the information about room space from here. This is how it works, the information about room space from here goes here into top syntax. And that's all, that's how we achieve the final result. The solution for Oracle is exactly the same. We have to select information about rooms and cross apply it with such a query result. This query for each room selects only as much computers as the space of that room is. Once again some visual explanation, that data goes here that data goes here and so on. And that's how we achieve the final result. With the next task we have returned to the classics for a couple of minutes. We have to show all possibilities to assign all unassigned computers to all empty rooms. And here we do not take room space into account. This is the result. The solution for MySQL is the next. First we have to select a list of all rooms with computers and pay attention to this condition, otherwise the whole query will return empty result. Once we have the list of rooms with computers, we may select all rooms that are not in this list, it has empty rooms. And once we have the list of empty rooms, we may cross join that information with information about computers and we may tell the DBMS to use only those computers that are unassigned. The solution for Microsoft SQL Server is the same. We are getting the list of non-empty rooms, then we are getting the list of empty rooms based on that list, and then we are joining this list of empty rooms with computers telling the DBMS to use only those computers that are unassigned. And for Oracle the solution is the same. We are getting the list of empty rooms, the list of non-empty rooms and then we are joining that information with computers table telling the DBMS to use only unassigned computers. But can we use cross apply with subquery? Yes we can. Here we have to show all possible combinations for unassigned computers and empty rooms and we have to take room space into account. Here is the result. Here you may see that each of our rooms has the space for two computers and there are only two computers in each room. For MySQL the solution is rather tricky because this DBMS does not support cross apply. Here we have to produce the list of unassigned computers, here they are, along with the sequential numbering of all computers. Here we are getting the list of non-empty rooms and then the list of empty rooms based on that previous list. And once we have the list of empty rooms and the number at least of unassigned computers, we may cross join that list and we have to tell the DBMS to use no more computers than the space in that room. It asks, for instance, if a room has place for two computers, only these two computers will be taken into account. And that's all, that's how we get our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server the solution is simpler. 
Of course, we have to get the list of non-empty rooms and then the list of empty rooms. And then we cross-apply that information with the result of such a query execution. And this query returns for each room the list of unassigned computers with as much records as the space that room has. So with visual explanation the idea is the next. This value goes here. In other words, this value goes here. And so on. And that's how we get our final result. The solution for Oracle is the same. We have to select the list of non-empty rooms, then the list of empty rooms, and then we have to cross-apply this result with the result of this query. And for each room it returns the list of unassigned computers with as much records as the place that room has. Once again the visual explanation. This value goes here. In other words, from here it goes here. And that's how we achieve our final result. Now let's go deeper and show all unassigned computers assignment options taking residual room space into account. So all our rooms have some space left and we have to put only as much computers there as this space is. As MySQL does not support cross-apply, we have to simulate it. First we have to produce the numbered list of unassigned computers. Then for each room we have to count how many computers are there. And once we have this and this information, we may use cross-join. And we are telling the DBMS that the position of our computers, here it is, should be less or equal the result of subtraction between room space and the number of computers in the room. And that's all, that's how we get our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server we may use cross-apply, but first we have to produce such a temporary data set. For each room we have to select as many computers as the result of subtraction between room space and the number of computers in the room is. We may easily delete this part of the query, the query will still work. It's here only for the visualization purpose. And here is the idea, we calculate the residual space and we use it with top syntax. That's all, that's how we get our final result. And for Oracle the solution is the same. We may easily delete this part, it is here for visualization purpose only, but this part is important. For each room we are selecting as many computers as the subtraction result between room space and the count of computers in that room is. Then we use cross apply and that's how we get our final result. Now let's show all non-empty rooms along with assigned computers and we shall take room space into account, it as we shall omit extra computers. We shall use cross-apply with subquery and calculations here. Once again MySQL gives us bad surprise. And still we have a workaround here. And you may wonder, do we really have to use such a complex syntax here? Of course we don't have to. And you may rewrite this query using row number function. But still we have to produce this temporary result. We have to produce a list of computers, a numbered list of computers and the numeration restarts with each new room. Then we use join, inner join, because we have to show non-empty rooms and assigned computers. And then we are telling the DBMS to select no more computers than the room space is. So this position number should be less or equal than the space of the room. It asks, for instance, if a room has space for two computers only, only these two records will be taken into account. With Microsoft SQL Server we may use the following approach. For each room we have to select a list of computers from that room, and that list should contain no more records than the space of that room is. And that's all, it's that simple, that's how we get our final result. With Oracle there is another complication. Oracle cross-apply returns empty set in this particular situation, that's Oracle specifics. That is why we have to use outer apply here and this condition to select non-empty rooms only. But this part is the same as in Microsoft SQL Server. For each room we have to select the computers from that room and we have to select no more records than the space of that room is. And that's all. Now we have to show all rooms, it has both empty and non-empty, along with assigned computers. And we have to take room space into account, it has we have to emit extra computers. You may easily guess that nothing has changed in MySQL during the last couple of minutes. 
So we have to follow that approach we used in the previous solution. We have to produce the number at least of all computers. And we have to restart the numbering here for each new room. Then we have to use left join instead of just join here. This left join gives us empty rooms also. And then, like in the previous solution, we want the position of the computers in this list to be less or equal the space of a room. And that's all, that's our final result. With Microsoft SQL Server, we are following the same approach as we did in the previous solution. The only difference here is this outer word. It gives us empty rooms also. Then for each room we have to select the list of computers from that room and we have to select no more records than the space of that room is. And that's all. The solution for Oracle is exactly the same. We have to use outer apply instead of cross apply. Then for each room we have to produce the list of computers of that room and we have to select no more records than the space of that room is. And here is the attentiveness test. This query contains an error. Please pause the video and find this error. Finally, let's look at some visual explanation on how cross apply and outer apply work. Let's start with cross apply. The basic part of cross apply works like join. It searches for matching pairs. But then it allows us to reference one part of the query from another one. And outer apply basic part is like outer join. It also looks for matching pairs. It also places non-matched records into the final result. And like cross apply, it also allows us to reference one part of the query from another one. 